Marvin Miller spent much of his early life at Brooklyn's Ebbets Field, watching his beloved Dodgers. But at that time, baseball players had no say in where they would start or finish their careers. After rising to the powerful position of lead negotiator for the United States Steelworkers Union, he decided to become an advocate for the players in the game he loved. When he came to baseball, baseball was a game of indentured servants where players had very few rights. Marvin changed that, and in the process, he brought baseball economics into the 20th century. Miller's legacy as a player activist began in 1969, when a three-time All-Star center fielder faced an unwanted trade. I had come to know Kirk Flood, and he informed me that he would like to file an antitrust lawsuit against Major League Baseball. After spending 12 years with the Cardinals, Flood had no desire to be traded and recruited Miller to represent him. While their attempt was unsuccessful, it did not go unnoticed. The, the Flood lawsuit raised the consciousness of numerous people in the press, numerous fans, and I can't help but believe that it raised the consciousness of many players. He made baseball more aware of the fact that it had to be a partnership, that without the players, nobody would come to the ballpark. I don't think that we would have the same game had it not been for uh, Marvin and, and his fight uh, for the players. Miller's work with the Players Association eventually led to the birth of free agency, which didn't sit well with many of the owners. If this is the worst thing that could ever happen to baseball. There's no question about it. Anybody can build a team now. Anybody that wants to take a chance, free agency benefited the ball players and will benefit an owner or a general manager that needs a spot build. He did more for changing the game of baseball than any other person. And the players ought to insist that he get put into the Hall of Fame.